What's up you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. So today I wanted to show you how one of my favorite performance testing tools called JMeter can actually be used to test for race conditions because it can perform very similar conditions to Turbo Intruder. Now I don't have to tell you this because I don't have to tell you this for Turbo Intruder either, but be very careful because you can actually bring down a website if you generate way too much load with this. Don't go spamming random websites with load. You have to always ask permission first. And if you don't have permission to go with many requests per second, then don't spam with many requests per second. Because as you can see in our script, we will get to pretty high results here. And we have a very simple script which does 10 users in five loops. And what it's actually going to do, because I added a synchronizing timer right here, is JMeter, when I run this script, it's actually going to wait until all of my samplers, all of my threads have come onto the synchronizing timer, all 10 of them. And then it's going to release them all at once. Now this, has the result that you're going to fire off the request which you think has a specific race condition in it it's going to fire that off multiple times at the same time every single time if i just let this script run the threads are going to get out of sync after a while and that's not the kind of load i want to generate for a race condition of course I can also view every single request and response that came in, but it's much more useful to look at the aggregate report. Now, as you can see, I can easily spam 50 requests per second. That might bring down some websites that are not prepared for it. So don't go doing this, of course. And as you can see, it always adds up in multiples of 10 as well. That is because of the reason that we set with synchronizing timer right here. It's going to wait until 10 users have reached that timer before it executes the following request. So that's it. I hope you liked this. I hope you learned something new and I hope this is useful for your bug bounty hunting. But guys, again, don't go spamming this on random websites. Make sure that you don't go generate too much load and that you actually know what you're doing. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.